It's not often a poet has the opportunity to introduce his work. Usually we read them and rip them and get off the stage for the next poet to get on. So it's really kind of cool to take a moment and tell you about a couple of my poems. One of them is more or less my signature poem. I've been reading and performing it for a number of years. And, and it started out in a, in a very raw form where I decided actually I liked my poetry raw. I didn't like foo-foo on it. I didn't like a bunch of adverbs, adjectives that describe nothingness. I didn't like obscure verse. I hated rhymes. And I decided that I would um, write a poem that really revealed every innermost thought I had about poetry. And I feel that in our society today, we end up with an awful lot of censorship. I wanted to figure out how to write this poem about censorship in some ways, making it very poetic. And, well, it started out with the idea that I had unprotected poetry last night. I had unprotected poetry last night. It was unexpected, you know, spontaneous, and we just went at it to keep the mood. It was incredible, but not safe, and now I'm worried because it can be infectious and dangerous to speak without a condom. It can be disastrous to speak without protection. And a guy should not have unprotected poetry. He should take more responsibility than that, not just leave it up to the girl. It was so irresponsible of me to have unprotected poetry, to not even ask or consult her about any poetry control methods she might be using or not using. What if she gets poetically pregnant and wants to have my poem? Or worse, what if she has one of those poetically transmitted diseases, you know, PTD, and we have to wait to see what happens, taking regular poetry tests to see if we've got it. But <laughs> we actually did it last night. We had poetry. How many people in this day and age have pure, unprotected poetry? It was good poetry. We both really enjoyed it. We soared like angels without wings, never coming down, just coming poetically, that is. But what a high to hit that climax and feel like you'll never be mortal again. And now that you've had unprotected poetry, who can protect you? Now that you've had unsafe poetry and you know you want to do it again and again and again and again because it don't feel the same with a poetic condom that blocks off the feelings and the flows and the words. The words are stopped short with safe protected poetry and I will never write that way again. <laughs> 